hope you're well and having a really lovely day. So as you can see, I am joined by my best friend Chelsea today. A couple of you have asked to meet Chelsea because I seem to mention her quite a few times in my videos and we are going to Paris together on the 19th of March, less than one month to go. So I thought it would be nice to introduce you to Chelsea before you start seeing her pretty much every week in my vlogs. So today we are going to do the Disney World tag. The first question is, when was your first trip to Disney World? So my first trip was actually in 2013. I've only been once in the October, the end of October in 2013. You've probably heard me talk about this before quite a lot, but it was me, my best other best friend Amber, she's my best friend from when I was like three years old, my dad and my brother, and we were there for 10 days. And when we came back, me and Amber booked our trip for this year when we were going again in October. I think my first actual Disney World trip must, I must have been at least like four or five or something and then me and my family continued to go sort of every year. Our last family trip was 2010 and then in 2014, the August just gone, I went to Disney World again with my boyfriend Ross and that was lovely. So how many times have you been to Disney World in your lifetime? With all of the Disney trips it's probably like 15, mm. which is very large I understand but I'm not sure if that's with Disneyland like California mm. included or not because we used to go pretty much like every single year but some years we would go like to Florida but just a universal so mm. I have been quite a few times. What is your favourite park at Disney World and for me as cliche as it probably is my favourite park is Magic Kingdom because for me that is just what Disney is, the castle is kind of Disney to me so Magic Kingdom is definitely my favourite park. I definitely feel the same. As much as I love the other parks as well, and like they all have Disney running through them, but I think Magic Kingdom's where you go to get like the real magic, and it's where you sort of feel like everything begins. It's got all the classic mm. rides, the classic characters, and I think it just like makes me feel I'm in Disney more than any of the it's other parks. It's the park I'd go to if I only had one day at Disney. The third question leading on is what is your favourite land in Magic Kingdom? And mine is Fantasyland and I'm going to include New Fantasyland in this as well because I feel like it's one. I just love the princesses, I love the fantasy aspect, that's kind of my favourite part of Disney. I think Fantasyland <laughs> as well just because like I love the Peter Pan ride and like Snow White and like the new mine train that obviously mm. opened in New Fantasyland and like Beauty and the Beast. The fourth question is your favourite Disney hotel. I've never stayed in a Disney hotel. I'll be staying at Caribbean Beach in October but from looking at all the hotels like I do quite regularly I would love to stay in the Grand Floridian because it's like the epitome of brilliance and like posh Disney hotels and I will never probably be able to afford it but I would love to stay at the Grand Floridian. I don't know if they'd ever let me in, I don't think. I, yeah Floridian, I feel that as well, they'd be like get out. <laughs> um, I stayed at Caribbean Beach when I went in August and I absolutely loved it and I feel like if I were to return anytime soon, which I hope I will, I definitely would stay there again. I love Caribbean Beach because it just like now has a special place in my heart for like how beautiful it was with the beaches and like the hammocks and you could see illuminations like from the beach and it was just so lovely, I really enjoyed it so I think at the moment that's my favourite just because it was the first time I ever stayed on site. Question five is what is your favourite Disney snack? Now I'm going to allow us to have one savoury and one sweet <laughs> because I'm not picking between the two. I am a massive fan of the Mickey Mouse shaped pretzel with the melted cheese dip. I love the fact at Disney you can like get melted cheese as a dip, that's just my favourite thing. So that's my favourite savoury and my favourite sweet is probably the traditional Mickey Mouse ice cream shaped bar thing, you know the one on the stick? Premium bar. Premium bar, I like that, that was good. My savoury is going to be popcorn, even though yep. I know it's sweet. Yeah, you could have that. But you know, it's, you know, that's my favourite one and I think the reason I like it so much is because usually you can buy it like in a standard mm. like cup or like a paper cup or you can buy it in something really hilarious like shaped like something. Like I know now at Magic Kingdom they do the popcorn and it's a bucket like a bucket like a mine train like for, <laughs> and you can buy it in Fantasyland and I just think that looks hilarious. My sweet one is definitely the ice cream. I have a thing where I just love things that are like shaped that, and it just makes me feel better when I'm eating it and like I take a photo of it in the wrapper and then like out, out the wrapper and, and then holding eating it. it. Yeah because <laughs> that's just the best thing to do. I am partial to like a themed cupcake Oh gosh, because yes. you go around and like every park they have like different cupcakes and I feel like I need to change my answer. I just, yeah, okay, so a cupcake as well, I'm adding that on. Question six, what is your favourite table service restaurant and your favourite counter service restaurant at Disney? I haven't eaten in many Disney restaurants because we were not on any dining plan on our last trip and we were staying off site so we ate a lot 
off site but I will be on the dining plan this year so I will probably do loads of videos after that when I come back about different restaurants and reviews but I remember that we ate at Yak and Yeti and I loved that because I love Chinese and Oriental food and the food there was really really lovely and the waiter that we had as well was so nice took the time to sit down with us talk us all through Disney his experience working there so that really helped as well and the other ones we ate at were um, the Rainforest Cafe and Dinosaur but they're not the most like popular ones because they're kind of just standard like ribs and chips and burgers but the theming is so good in them that I think they're really good restaurants but there are so many on my list of ones that I cannot wait to try that I know I will have a complete different answer to this at the end of this <laughs> year and then for counter service I really liked Cosmic Rays in uh, Tomorrowland because I liked that they had the different stations so they had like chicken, burgers, salads, sandwiches although I don't know why you'd have a salad um, and you could just go and pick what you wanted and they have the little alien guy that's like plain is thing, mm -hmm. instrument thing, I whatever he's doing. My favourite counter service is Casey's, only because mm. like, it's like a family tradition that every time we go to Magic Kingdom or like the Disneyland Park in Paris, the first meal that we have to have is a Casey's hot dog. My favourite table service was Cinderella's Royal Table because obviously you got to meet all the princesses, they came to your table and you could have a photo with them. And at Cinderella's Royal Table the food was amazing. I th it literally was the best meal. We ate at a different Disney restaurant every single night obviously to make the most of the meals that we got and it was my favourite meal and we got the best seat in the house. When we got taken in there um, our server was like, oh you've got the most romantic um, view and it was the seat right next to the window, you look out over like the carousel and you can see Beast's Castle. Question seven is a hard one and it is what is your favourite Disney ride? I think I'm going to go with Big Thunder Mountain. When I went on Big Thunder Mountain I was pooing myself. I was so scared because I'm not a ride person. I know it's pathetic and it's not a roller coaster but getting on that ride was a massive deal for me. So the fact I like conquered my fear and I did it and I came off loving it is probably why that is my favourite ride. Although I am actually genuinely terrified about going on it in Paris. My favourite, I have to, I think it's Toy Story Mania in Hollywood mm. Studios just because it's just hilarious. I love something that you can like get involved with. Like mm. I do obviously love rides where you sit and like look at everything and like sing along. But I love that like it's a bit of a competition. Question eight is your favourite Disney World show. I am going to say the Beauty and the Beast show because you're probably aware of how much I love Beauty and the Beast. That show does things to me that it shouldn't do. It <laughs> makes me cry. It makes me emotional. And it was just so good. Like. I always say things like everything at Disney is so magical and everything at Disney is so good but the standard of the shows is like going to see a Broadway show even though it's a half an hour long like mini version of a film on stage it's so good. Finding Nemo show at Animal Kingdom. The actors like are the characters but yeah, obviously they're like yeah moving around and it's incredible and Finding Nemo is one of my all-time favourite films and I mean there's so many Disney shows I could choose from but that one just sort of stands out in my mind as like good family memories. Mm. There's so. nothing like seeing your favourite film like live in front I know. of you. I, th I forgot about the Lion King show. Oh no. Are you going to change your mind? I feel like I want to change my mind. But you've picked Beauty and the Beast. So. No, my favourite show is the Lion King I don't show. I think you're allowed to have that. I'm changing my mind. <laughs> no, I am. I forgot about it and I feel like. You forgot? Oh person. my god. Yeah. I was even thinking when you said Beauty and the Beast. I was like, Beauty and the Beast. Why is she picking this? Because Lion King's her favourite. No, but I, I love Beauty and the Beast, but the Lion King because show. Because I felt like picking Lion King. Oh my god. Then, no, I forgot. No. I feel like a truly horrible person. <laughs> The Lion King show is insane. I, I sobbed through that. Beauty and the Beast, I was like emotional crying. No, Lion King, there was like sobbing. My dad was like, like this, like what are you doing? It's very different to the Beauty and the Beast show because the Beauty and the Beast is kind of a, like a version of the film, but the Lion King, it's kind of just the songs and a lot more acrobatics and dancing. But they're both, they're equal. I'm gonna put them equal, so I'm not changing my answer. The next question is your favorite parade or fireworks? And mine is Wishes. It has to be Wishes. Wishes is kind of, like the highlight of it for me, it's just so brilliant and magical and it takes your breath away. Wishes is definitely my favourite fireworks show just because it like brings together everything that is Disney and then they man they put in like all the characters like through the song. I cry, like ugly cry, it's that sad. Yep. And we were watching it and then like we walked away like, you know when it finishes and you just stood there like, I can't continue with mm. my life. When it and finished like, when we were there, I was facing the castle. I was facing this way and everyone was coming this way and there's just me like, <laughs> <laughs> and everyone's like, what is this girl doing? Question 10 is, what is your favourite pavilion in Epcot? I'm probably going to say the UK, just because I think it's done so well. The shops there are really good. You can meet quite a few different characters. 
I just really liked it. I think the UK is the biggest pavilion. It there, is one of the biggest there. And right. they're literally, they have so many different shops. And as well, like, I find it quite funny to, like, we're in America. Oh, look, you can buy, like, an English But there's Mary Poppins. Yeah, I know. And I find stuff like that so funny. I'm like, but we're not in England. Question 11 is, what colour is your magic band? Now, controversially, we were talking about this earlier, and I am considering getting a grey magic band. I think this is a terrible idea. I'm sorry. It's awful. <laughs> My current selection is pink because, I don't know, I just feel like all the colours are a bit naff. Amber's going with yellow, but Amber is the sort of person that can pull off a bin bag and she'll look fab so like she can wear what she wants but I why just don't they do a purple one is my question well i don't even know they don't really do many good colors mm. but i feel like gray will go with everything and it's mm. not me being depressing or being <laughs> boring i just like gray gray looks like oh she didn't pick her magic band <laughs> color in time it is because like, if you don't pick your color you yeah. just get gray or like so, uh, oh she turned like the default she turned up to the wrong hotel and they only had gray left yeah. and i think that's awful i mean i chose pink and i don't really like pink as a color mm. like i don't wear anything pink it's not my favourite colour, but mm. it was like the girliest yeah, colour there was. I, I would have chosen it. purple, but I didn't really care what I was wearing to go with my pink because I felt like it went with everything and it went with the huge smile on my face. Question 12 is who is your favourite character to meet? I'm going to have Mickey Mouse, specifically in the Town Square Theatre, because he talks to you, which is just... Insane. Like, well, I didn't know he was going to talk to me until they started speaking to me and I was like, oh my god, Mickey Mouse. He is speaking to me. And then I'm going to go with Belle because she's the best princess, in my opinion. My favourite are definitely Chip and Dale, just because they ha they like have such a special place in my heart. And I've got photos of them from when I met them that first time in Disneyland when I was only a year and a half. And um, I met them when I went to Paris this year with my mum and my sister. And Chip would not leave my mum alone. It's because I said to Chip, oh, my mum loves you. Because my mum gets a bit, like, embarrassed about meeting the characters. And he literally, he was, like, rubbing her hair, like, rubbing her shoulders. Like, he <laughs> kept, like, doing this to her. I just think Chip and Dale, they're so funny. Like, I've seen videos of them where someone's wearing a backpack. And they'll go up yeah. and, like, take the backpack off and, like, put it on and, like, run away with it. And they have such, like, Because they interact with each other yeah. as well. They have that banter. Question 13 is a character you would love to meet and you haven't already and this is so easy for me it is Gaston he is awesome the guy the guy who is Gaston like the one who keeps going viral if he is there when I am there oh we are he was there when I was oh. there yeah it's like I love him so much I think it's unhealthy I think the character I would most love to meet is Hercules because I love that film I loved it when I was a child and like I always listen to the Hercules soundtrack I am soundtrack I am addicted to that he was there at Villains Unleashed because Meg was there and that was in August and sometimes he's around it depends like sometimes he's, he's a very hard character he me. is he's sometimes around at like the run Disney events but I've never seen him he's never been there when I've been there um so I would love to meet Hercules the final question is your best Disney memory and this is another one that is really really hard so I'm gonna keep it simple and just to say the moment well like the 10 minutes from getting on the monorail and kind of approaching Magic Kingdom to actually getting to the castle they were like the probably the best 10 minutes of my life it was the best feeling sort of approaching the castle seeing it and then the whole feeling of oh my god I'm actually here kicks in nothing beats that feeling we walked in and the first thing we did was buy our mini ears and our autograph books and there's pictures that my dad's got of me and they're not very flattering pictures but they're so nice because you can just see how genuinely happy I am in that moment and nothing mattered I remember just walking down the street with Amber and I think we like we basically skipped down the road <laughs> holding hands to the castle and when we got to the bottom the um, Move It Shake It parade was on and we were just like dancing with the characters and then we took loads of pictures and it was just the best 10 minutes I think I've ever had. I know that's not anything to do with a character or a cast member but that is probably my best Disney memory is just the first time I walked in and just being so happy that I was actually there. One of the things that really stands out is we went to dinner at um, the Plaza which is sort of um, on the end of Main Street. I know it's opposite the road from Casey's and we had um, a reservation there for like 6pm. We like checked in for our reservation and we said oh yeah we've got a reservation etc and they said yeah that's fine and this was I think on our last full day and all of the reservations we'd had were absolutely fine like they checked us in we always arrived like 10 minutes early anyway and we'd get sat straight away but this one we were like waiting outside it was probably for about 10 minutes and we didn't mind because we were stood looking right at the castle we're looking right down main street like chatting away having a great time they took us to our table and they were like oh sorry for the wait and we were like oh it was like literally 10 minutes we were early anyway I think and then a couple of minutes later this lady came up to us that worked there and was like oh um I've got this for you we're really sorry that you had to wait so long it was this um slip of paper and it said like 
we are so sorry that you had to wait um, for your dinner reservation, have a fast pass for your family on us, on any ride you want. And I just thought that was probably the best thing that ever happened. They want to make you feel the happiest you possibly could be and they want to turn every moment into a magical moment. And that's one of my favourite memories just because they really want to make everyone really happy. So that was our Disney World tag. I hope you enjoyed hearing more about things that we have done and enjoyed at Disney World. And I hope you've enjoyed meeting Chelsea. You will be seeing a load more of her because there will probably be at least two vlogs per day for Paris. I hope so. Depending on how much I film, it's probably going to be a bit excessive. I hope you guys don't mind that. I'm a little bit worried that there'll be too much of the vlogs. I and don't think there can be too much. Well, <laughs> I don't know. I'm a bit worried that people will be like, stop with the vlogs, it's too much. If you do this tag, we would love to see it. So please leave us a comment down below, whether you do it on a blog post or a video. We'd love to know your answers as well. So thank you so much for watching, and we wish you a very magical day. We'll see you very soon. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.